بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈیمانسٹریٹ دی شولڈر جوائنٹ ان وچ وی ہیو ٹو ڈسکس تھری بون دی کلیویکل بون اینڈ دی سیکیپولا بون اینڈ دی ہیمرس بون سو فرسٹ وی ٹرائی ٹو کور دیئر مین بون ان فیچر اف ایچ اف دیم سو لیٹس لک ایٹ دس بیپٹی بون وی کال دیم دی کلیویکل بون سو اف یو لک ایٹ کلوزلی اٹ ہیز ٹو اینڈس ون از ہیئر اینڈ ون از ہیئر اینڈ دس از یور سٹرنل اینڈ وائی دی سٹرنل بیکاز ہی اٹیچ وی دی یور سٹرنم اینڈ دس از یور اکرومیل لینڈ وچ از اٹیچ وی دی اکرومیم پروسیس اف یور سیکیپولا اینڈ اف یو اینڈ دی دس پارٹ از دس از یور شافٹ اور باڈی سو ٹو اینڈس اینڈ وتھ آ باڈی اور شافٹ اینڈ اف یو لک ایٹ دس سائڈ دی میڈیل سائڈ وچ ہیز کنویکس فارورڈ تو یو کین سی ایئر کنویکس اینڈ ہیئر اٹ از کنکیو سو کنویکس فارورڈ اینڈ کنکیو فارورڈ لیٹرل ون تھرڈ If you look at the backward side, it is the convex backward, uh, concave backward and the convex backward of lateral side. So why it is convex? The reason is that because our content which are entering from our neck, they have to pass our uh, the thorax region, they have to pass our the upper limb. So they, uh, this convexity helps. to uh, to pass away way of your vessel or neurovasculature which is just moving behind because you are a uh, brachial plex as well as your arteries veins which are passing just behind you so uh, this is con uh, the convex forward the concave forward and uh, if you look at the superior surface it is a smooth surface because no ridges are there if you look uh, look at backward uh, closely look at here so you this part is the inferior side which you can see here is a groove we call them the subclavius groove because it is an attachment for the subclavius muscle and at this side you will find uh, on this side you will find a line trapezoid line and the conoid conoid uh, uh, process because it is a, actually a form a ligament which is uh, with the your uh, crocoid of your uh, the scapula and the this uh, clavicle so croco uh, clavicular ligament which has two part actually trapezoid and the conoid so they are actually attached at these two sides so this is and uh, the for the uh, uh, the other muscle attachment so uh, as uh, your deltoid uh, the deltoid muscle which is just here so interior deltoid muscle attachment so this is inferior uh, how you can define uh, it is the right or left that is the first you have to put in the horizontal direction so and your acromium side be always toward the lateral aspect and the this external uh, side should be always toward the medial aspect this is because yes, if you look at in this way that's wrong because your inferior surface is rough while the superior is the uh, superior surface is smoothy so smoothy surface should be always on the superior side and the ridges should be always the inferior side so in this way that is the correct for the we, we can identify that is the right uh, clavicle bone so if you look at the scapula bone it has two surfaces three border uh, three angles three fossas so if you look at here on the back side why you can see here can you see uh, before i look at the process first uh, try to identify the border so can uh, because this is presented in this way so which is toward the medial side that is your medial border and this is lateral border and that is superior border so three border if this is if you take an example of triangle if this is the two border and angle between them should be the superior angle and angle between the medial and lateral on the inferior aspect that is inferior angle at this side what will angle should be the lateral angle so three angles superior border middle border lateral border so three borders and a superior uh, superior angle inferior angle and the lateral angle so three angle and two surfaces because if you look at in this way this is your posterior surface or the dorsal surface which is toward the backward and you can see here this surface which is attaching my costal cartilage so that we call them the costal surface because it is attaching with the ribs 
so that is your interior surface and that is posterior surface so two surfaces are there if uh, you look at the three processes can you see here uh, some kind of processes here moving here we name them the supine process so that is your supine process and this supine process is divided into two fossa on the your uh, backward side or dorsal side that is which is superior to the supine we call them super, uh, super supraspinous and which is inferior to supine we call them infraspinous and with the uh, and the third fossa is where on your costal side so that is your third fossa sub scapularis because this is scapular under the scapular world is sub sub, sub scapularis so under the the scapula so three uh, fossa clear and uh, the, the the continuation of this process that become the acromion process with the continuation of spinous, they become part acromion process, which is attached with your clavicle. And if you look at here, uh, a beak of your crow like structure, we call them cricoid. Can you see here this crow like uh, other process? So that is cricoid. And you know better here is your uh, bicep, uh, and the head of your bicep attaches here. And the, if you look at uh, this side, this is your glenoid cavity. This is glenoid cavity. So, and you can see here a tuberosity here on the upward side. That is supraglenoid because it is superior to the glenoid, and that is infraglenoid. So, the supraglenoid and infraglenoid. Supraglenoid is attachment for the bicep, and the infraglenoid is for the uh, the long head of your the tricep. So, this is attachment for your long head. And different muscles are attached on this side, rhomboid minor and rhomboid major, uh, because when you put in this way, so different muscles which are attached here, rhomboid minor, rhomboid major, and levator scapuli. So on the medial border and on the lateral border, what you find the tire minor and major, and the infraspinatus at, at the inferior spinous uh, fossa, and supraspinatus here, and the tire minor is just here and below to is your tire is major so this is a capula now let's look at the humerus so if you look at the humerus you will find a head if this is the head what should be under the head of course neck head and neck so this is your anatomical neck can you see here this part is anatomical neck and you will find two tuberosity here one is here that is greater tuberosity that is greater tubercle and one is here that is lesser tuberosity so in between if these are two tuberosity the groove which is present in between them we call them the intertubercle between two tubercle so that is intertubercle or bicipital groove and if you look at the the other neck that is an anatomical neck that is surgical why it is called surgical neck have you an idea because it is important in the fracture fracture so actually at this side your uh, tri uh, the quadrangular space is present just here so where you know better axillary nerve and your uh, the arteries are moving just here so when the arteries and uh, the uh, fracture appear at this side they affect the axillary nerve so axillary nerve uh, which muscle are innervated by axillary nerve deltoid as well as your teres minor i use a shortcut for this that is your atm card atm card a auxiliary tm teres minor and card d represent the deltoid so two muscles mainly this is very short nerve of, uh, of your brachial plane so atm card so your atm card will be affected at this side uh, and uh, so deltoid actually uh, this is the your proximal and uh, part and this is the the shaft and this is the distal part if you look at the shaft you will find two things mainly so one is uh, uh, one side that is the you will find a groove here that is the radial groove as the name represent it should be there should be a groove for the radial artery as well as radial nerve so if fracture appear here 
what what will happen radial nerve will be affected so cla and are the muscle which are innervated by radial nerve they will be affected because the radial nerve uh, supplies the most posterior areas of your uh, uh, the upper extremity what is the, do you know an other importance of this groove have an idea you have three head for tricep one is attached with the infraclinar and two head are which are just which is superior to it is lateral head which is inferior inferior to the your uh, this groove is the medial me, uh, medial head of your tricep three basically uh, three head of your tricep and two head of bicep one is uh, with the supraglinite and the other is the conoid so and you will find uh, an other uh, tuberosity here that is the tubercle for the attachment of your delta so we call them delta tuberosity here so two things important radial groove and the delta tuberosity if you move downward this distal part this help us to identify this is right or left because these are two tuberosity are epicondyle lateral and medial so medial is the more prominent so if you uh, you can easily identify uh, by facing this medial epicondyle to a medial side you can easily identify it is the the right form so this is this this is later epicondyle this is the medial epicondyle and you will find here uh, the trochlear notch and the capitulum so the later one is the capitulum attaches here and the, this is the radial the uh, radial uh, which is uh, uh, the uh, uh, sorry this is the cr radial uh, for the, uh, the uh, which is cr the capitulum and radius bone attachment and this is the trochlear for the uh, the attachment of your ulna so when uh, the these two bone attaches here so when they move in this way so they enter into these fossa that is your radial fossa for radius and that is your conoid fossa for the conoid process of your uh, the ulna bone on the backward third fossa you can see here that is your olecranon fossa so that because this uh, olecranon process of your uh, the ulna attaches here on the back side this is olecranon so uh, we have discussed the axillary nerve here radial nerve here and the two nerves which are just here so the your uh, ulnar nerve they move here and move back on the back side of this medial epicondyle so if the fracture appear here so they may affect the ulnar nerve so and the lateral aspect you will find the uh, your radial nerve which is just passing here and they are move in in front of this so they move and in front of your lateral epicondyle and the third uh, the median nerve which is present just here in the cubital fossa the nerve which is passing the cubital fossa so they are not directly attached with the humerus three nerves are mainly attached with direct humerus the axillary nerve radial nerve and the ulnar nerve and the median nerve is passing uh, in between the muscle so if uh, there is dislocated uh, fracture of humerus they may affect the the median nerve otherwise uh, if you not dislocate just break here and uh, no not dislocation so they may not affect uh, median nerve so that is all about your mid uh, the humerus the scapula and the clavicle so now uh, and you you will find three surfaces and the three border so you can see here this is your uh, if this is the epicondyle so this is supra epicondyle ridges and this is the supra medial medial supracondyle ridge this is uh, the lateral supracondyle ridge and th that is the interior side interior border so basically if uh, you will find in this way you can easily uh, identify in this way so if uh, this is the interior this is the medial this is the lateral so one surface become here that become the interior lateral surface uh, uh, interior medial because this is medial so interior medial surface interior lateral surface and one is on the back side that become the posterior surface you can identify here this become the interior lateral this become the interior medial this become the posterior so three surface clear so interior border lateral border medial border so this is all about your the humerus now let's look at the shoulder joint if you look at the shoulder joint 
so because this is your clavicle which is uh, clavicle this is a capula so your clavicle is attached with this conoid process oh sorry acromion process of this so acromion process and uh, and you will find the this head of your humerus is attached here glenoid so glenoid and you will find in this way the complete here pectoral joint shoulder joint formation so acromion so you can see here you can observe the glenoid uh, the face of the face is very short as compared to the head so it is almost three or four times the size of your head is larger so and uh, there is no direct uh, the ligament is coming from the head so there so we have more chances of dislocation so you we need some ligaments which is, should cover it so cro uh, crocoid glenohumeral three glenohumeral superior middle and inferior area so three are attached so this is your head and here is your glenoid so we need uh, the ligament to attach so, so uh, glenohumeral ligament three are there and the uh, crocoid and uh, the with the clavicle so which are attached on the in the trapezoid and conoid so the two mainly so they are attached here and if you look at the uh, other thing uh, the fracture of your uh, the you have defined the fracture humerus if you look at the fracture of this clavicle mainly lateral and medial junction is the most common site of your fracture why it is most common because convexity and here concavity start here so this is very weak point and when they break you will find the medial side will move upward and the lateral side move downward why it is happening the reason is that sternomastoid is here so they pull this medial side so you will find in this way when you x-ray in the you will find the x-ray picture medial side is upward and the lateral part is downward why because the weight of delta push this delta part so and the other uh, it is most common in the uh, outstretch uh, in the accident or the back accident what is outstretch what is in stretch outstretch when you uh, fall from a bike you will in the accident uh, mostly we fall in this way so this is outstretch and this is in stretch so in most cases the, uh, the outstretch is common so when the outstretch there may be chances of sacrificed and the radius and so this force uh, from here transmission of force they move 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 at the glenohumeral and reaches the clavicle and break the clavicle so the lateral uh, downward and the medial upward so and other uh, which is uh, medial fracture it is only common when a direct force is applied here so direct force applied here so there may be a fracture at the midpoint so this is the fra these are the fractures here and uh, uh, if you look at the the scapula they are very uncommon because they are covered by many many muscles so the your uh, the extrinsic muscle as well as the intrinsic muscle so their fracture is very uncommon may be fracture with the conoid process or the spinous process so uh, this is one more time so and if you look at the movement which are associated with the each bone uh, each of them so for the this joint this is ball and socket joint so abduction adduction edit flexion extension circumduction and the and uh, in this way this is full flexion which is 180 degree so when this uh, 180 degree have you seen in your book the glenohumeral and scapular rhythm in which uh, every one degree uh, with the two degree of this glenohumeral movement your one degree scapular move in this way so in this way your uh, upper uh, when uh, you move from 90 to upward this upper 60 is by the help of this scapula movement so in this way scapula in this way move so when you in this way move your scapula move also so and your clavicle this is fixed point uh, mostly because very strong is sternocostal junction at this side uh, they also move in this way or this way 30 degree in this way 30 degree uh, interior 30 posterior and the 60 degree in this way movement is 
applied here so with this so when move 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 so protection and retraction protection move in this way retraction when you are try to scratch here so when this is a retraction that is protection protection move in this is the uh, interior important and the retraction and protraction and the uh, uh, elevation and the downward movement or inferior movement and we, although we have covered the all the fractures associated with the uh, the shoulders joint here so thank you inshallah we will in next lecture we will continue the new the wrist joint here